Acceleron Learning, life experience accelerated. On deck right now, personal wellness and bullying. Thanks for joining us, I'm Ryan Jackson. Most people can identify a bully when they see one. In fact, the photo on this slide depicts the classic bullying scene. One child is about to punch another. It should be pretty clear which child is the bully and which is the victim. Here's how Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines bully. To treat abusively or to affect by means of force or coercion. Sounds about right. It certainly describes the boy ready to throw a punch. Often, however, bullying isn't that simple to observe or address. Let's review the basics of bullying. Bullying is exerting superior force over another person to intimidate or force that person to do what you want. The behavior is aggressive, repetitious, and intentional. It occurs in the context of interpersonal relationships. The bully is the person who exerts power over or harasses another person to gain dominance. The victim is the person targeted by the bully, receiving attacks from the bully. In this unit, you'll learn why bullying is harmful for both the bully and the victim, the different types of bullying, and the different settings bullying takes place. If you think it's just a schoolyard problem, think again. Adults bully too. We'll also go over steps that can be taken to stop bullying. Let's go over the four main types of bullying. The three primary types of bullying are physical, verbal, and emotional. The fourth and newest type is cyberbullying brought upon by the information age. Physical bullying involves direct physical contact between the bully and the victim. Physical bullying can hurt or cause physical injury to a person. Examples of physical bullying are shoving, punching, kicking, and taking something of someone else's and destroying it. Verbal bullying involves comments that create an imbalance of power between individuals. Examples include name-calling, joking that implies offensive verbal remarks, making fun of a person's gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status, religion, body size, or ethnicity, to name a few examples. Emotional bullying is indirect, making a person feel isolated and ridiculed through teasing, shouting, mocking, or ignoring. Indirect bullying can occur when someone is excluded or socially isolated. And then there's cyber bullying. There are two types, direct attacks, which are messages sent directly to others, and by proxy, when the bully uses others to help cyberbully the victim, either with or without the accomplice's knowledge. Examples of cyberbullying include text messages, pictures, instant messages, email, and voicemail. All of the following qualify as cyberbullying, sending an angry, vulgar message to a person or group through chats harassing individuals or groups by sending messages, denigration by sending or posting harmful lies or hurtful statements, cyberstalking, masquerading, outing and trickery, and exclusion.